Right now, animals living in deplorable conditions. You can see here the dogs were so emaciated, their ribs were sticking out. Yeah, some dead animals were even found in trash bags. Fox 35's Marlisa Goldsmith joins us live in the studio tonight. So, Marlisa, this investigation has been going on for a while. It has, John. The county tells us they've been looking into this home for a couple months now. But when they went out to the house on Wednesday, it was the worst they've ever seen it. The smell's so bad that you can't relax on a patio. That smell, according to police, was urine, feces. And occasionally we'd hear dogs barking or yelping. And animal remains. We could tell there were dead animals. It's literally a dead animal smell. Altamont Springs police showed up to the home on Ballard Street to do an animal well-being check. Inside, they say they found several emaciated dogs, cats, and birds. They clearly received no medical care. Uh, it was In the backyard, there were more dogs in cages and even some locked in a hot shed. Unfortunately, we did lose one dog uh, yesterday uh, when uh, on the way here. Uh, we also lost a dog at the scene, so those dogs were near death already. Uh, during the transport, uh, it just was too much, uh, and uh, we lost uh, two additional dogs. And more than 15 trash bags filled with animal remains. The woman inside the home, 36-year-old Tanya Gross, was arrested. She faced a judge Thursday on animal cruelty charges. And you're charged in five counts, torturing animals, inflicting pain, causing serious physical injury and death. Our hope is that she never has another animal in her life. The focus now, taking care of the animals that were rescued from the home. 26 dogs were brought here to the shelter, uh, 13 cats so far, and two birds. But the new additions are putting a strain on the Seminole County Animal Shelter. Fortunately, our shelter was uh, already 45 animals over capacity. This, uh, of course, created an additional capacity issue. We are doing very creative things to try to uh, move dogs. Dogs around. So the county is now asking for the community to adopt dogs or cats that are available for immediate adoption to help ease some of the shelter's stress. Live in the studio, Marlisa Goldsmith, Fox 35 News.